The purpose of a WAN or a wide area network is to connect our different networks together. So we might have networks in multiple different sites and we connect them using wide area networks or WANs. Now the way we do this will vary depending on what it is that we're trying to accomplish. So let's take a look at some different WAN topologies. The first and simplest type of WAN topology is a point-to-point -point topology. Now we'll use the point-to-point -point topology when we only have two locations and we want to connect location A or site A to site B. And we do this using a simple connection that just connects point A to point B. This is a point-to-point -point topology. The second type of topology we'll look at is a hub and spoke topology. Now this is useful when we have multiple sites and we'll typically use this topology when we have one central office and then maybe several different branch offices. Now in this environment, each branch office has a direct link to the central office. That's their only connection is back to that central office. Now this works well if most of our traffic is coming from the branches to the central office and back. There is one major issue with this, however, and that is we have a single point of failure. If our main office goes down, we can't do any work because none of our branches can contact anybody else. An alternative to the hub and spoke topology when you have multiple sites is to use a full mesh topology. Now in a full mesh topology, you'll have multiple sites and each site is going to be connected to every other site. Now this gives us some really interesting flexibility here because every site has access to every other site which means they don't have to go through a central office to communicate with anybody else. It also means if any single site goes down, the other sites will still be able to communicate with each other. Now, there is one big drawback to this topology, and that is cost. Here we only have three sites, but if we had a dozen sites and each one was connected to every other site, you'd see that we would have a whole lot of connections that need to be maintained, and that gets very expensive. And the fourth topology we'll look at is called the dual home topology, also sometimes called a partial mesh topology. Now, in this environment, we'll have a couple of main offices or maybe like a main office and then a backup office. And then all of our branch offices will have connections both to the main office and the backup office. Now, what this does is it means that if our main office goes down, we're still functional because all the branches can still communicate with the uh, backup office. So this gives us a little more fault tolerance, but it does so without the cost of having a full mesh topology. So now that you have an overview of WAN topologies, which one is best? Well, that depends on a couple of big issues. First one is how many sites do you have to connect? The second issue is how willing are you to deal with downtime? If you're less willing to deal with downtime, then using a hub and spoke topology might not be the best option. And then the third question is how much are you willing to spend? Because both full mesh and uh, dual home or partial mesh will give you some fault tolerance, but there is going to be a price increase when using one of those topologies. So the decisions or the answers to those three questions will determine which topology will work best for you.